if we are super lucky, we can have these Lindworm uh, get pulled into some other group. Some ruin that can help us. Five of them, that's not too bad. Trading caravan's not really going to help us. Let's just see where these Lindworm go. We might get lucky. Watch the camera will just fucking stay on me. My god. Run on the road, please. Some soldiers to help us. Look, sir. Uh, I don't know if it's good or bad. Nacht is fighting Lindworms. That's actually pretty bad. Because now it's a nighttime fight. And there's Nacht So everyone hold position. Let's see what happens. I used to play Paragon. Um, but now the replacement games that are out there is Predecessor and there's Fault. I tried Predecessor on the weekend. And I need to try Fault at some point. Although, based on everything I'm hearing, uh, I'm hearing that Predecessor is being. People are liking Predecessor a bit more. Still, it's really hard because it's at best European servers. And the couple games that I played of Predecessor, I had 200 ping. It sucks. With that amount of ping, I can never play an ADC because you can never land auto attacks. It's impossible. I don't think I've tried over Prime. I want to go in with Sigma. I want to get bitten either. Should I just stay back and whip this thing? We can actually hold back and we can let the Nachtzers fight this Lindworm. I think uh, one of the guys in the uh, predecessor Discord was saying that they looked and there were like seven people killed for Overprime. So I think Overprime might be dead already. With these Lindworm, let's just get these Greatsword guys ready to step in. Don't fucking eat my lads, please. Wait, can these, these little women can attack over two tiles, can't they? Oh, I forgot about that. Shit. So Overprime is, you know, still legacy. Well, that may be the case, but there's also an element of you kind of have to wait and see which one becomes most successful and go with that one. Even if it's not your favorite, because eventually, like, fucking... Damn it. Because if there's no player base, then you know you don't want to play that one. We'll have to wait and see. Okay, thank goodness. Oh, bless you, Lindworm. At least his helmet is immune to Lindworm. I might even have some dedicated armor just for Lindworm immunity. these crossbows just aren't cutting it against the lindworms here's where when i would want the war bow so i could attack twice a turn no oh fuck i didn't use indom should have used indom So 
close to dying. One more. Oh, what? And that actually sprayed him with acid. That sucks. Well done, boys. One down. Four lindworms to go. This acid is so strong. Where are they? Yeah, gentlemen, form up. Get into some sort of line. I'm sure I should begin to think that uh, what's that skill holdout? Resilient. Could actually become a quite necessary perk after the DLC is out. If you think of the fact that you now have to deal with a stunned effect. There's more mace type weapons that are going to apply a stun. Bleeding and poison is always an issue. Kinnapon, except the follow. Something to think about. Okay, form up men. Be ready. Hold the line, come on! Hit them with crossbows. Yeah, the the nacht is getting ruined. Fuck, these things are so scary. Quite often when I'm fighting lindworms, so modern, I sort of feel like in a in a fight like this, I'll kill one or two lindworms and then just flee. That's just so unspeakably dangerous, and and the risk reward is so screwed up in this in these fights. Fuck, we're surrounded. Okay, lads. Form up. Get ready. Uh, I kind of want Subhedgehog to swap out Loves to Splooge so that Loves to Splooge can split. I think if you split, it's like a double hit. I think. This is not the time to have no pole arms. Uh. That was definitely a double hit. That hit the head and the body. That was very effective. Does it double spray with acid? I, I certainly hope not. We start softening up that one, and we just keep pounding the one. Oh god! This is not one I wish I had taunt. I, I really, I misleveled my tanks. I mean, this was a light armor tank experiment, and it was okay. It's kind of average. But if I did it over again, I would make it heavy armor. Which would actually, which would, well, I would have one less perk. So, overwhelm would be brawny. Nimble would be battle forged. I probably what would I have what would I be able to give up from here? Maybe quick hands and take taunt instead. A gift that I think is too important. Look at him. 71 melee defense. Oh, 
Rodman is actually in a lot of trouble here, but we can probably rotate him out. Ooh. Good dodge. Ow! One hit, armor destroyed. 52%. Fuck, he's x user. He shouldn't have been... We can hopefully kill this one this next turn. <sighs> oh, fucking headshots! These Lindworms have headhunter or something. Look at that, no damage. Bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Come on, 85% miss. Oh, clutch dodges there by KK. Uh, Sigma cannot rotate him out. Fuck off! God, these high percentage chance misses do my head in. So close. Loves to splooge, what a god. Here's my prediction. This Lindworm is going to bite Mozart in the head and one-shot him. Okay, body shot. Finally. We got ourselves a heavy armor helmet. 3124, I think it's 15. And Lindworm immunity. Lindworm blood immunity. Uh, there's actually another new helmet as well. We've had this one for ages. This one I took off the corpse of a barbarian champion. Only 262, but it only weighs 10. That's very nice. And then I've got two amazing sets of light armor. This one is the not even the best one. 187 for 9 is quite good. But the other one is... Don't tell me I didn't equip it. Oh, it's on my duelist. The other one is light armor that looks like this, but it's 200 for 10. Oh, Davies are up, mate. Ow. Fucking Lindworms, man. I don't think those double hits are actually worth it, are they? Or does it count as two stacks? It does. Okay, so it is it is worth it at least then for that. Which one do we focus? We focus that one. Also, here's a question. Does Indom lower the acid damage? Probably not. The Great Swords are actually quite effective. I'm pretty... Hang on, let's just be sure here. Does it hit twice? Sigma uses Split and hits Lindworm for 128, hits Lindworm for 97. Yeah, so Split does do double damage if you can line it up. Did not know that. So Great Swords and Bardishas are the way to go against these dragons. I think there's three landworms left. God, it's terrifying. Alright, KK. You need to get out of there. So if I stop using split, if I start walking up... Oh, good dodge. I can actually attack and then move away. But 
Mozart, I think it's too dangerous. He needs to stay away from the head, which can attack up to there. As long as he's here, he can attack the tail safely. But if that head moves, we've got problems. Uh, Merilo, what's up? Okay, sweet. Hang on. One, two, three, four. There's one other Lindworm left. Sigma. Uh... If these guys with no armor need to stay away from the head. Sub Hedgehog. Go send up the Falcon on the next turn and scout for us. I dare speak too soon, but we're doing very well against these Lindworm, I think. So scary. So I won't have fatigue to move away, so let's move away. Unfortunately, I then can't use recover, but at least I can't get hit by the tail. Great dodge. Remember, you can move away from the, the tail without a uh, retaliation shot. So close! Three Lindworms dead. Let's take a few turns reloading and recovering. You know, I'm coming up on 2,000 hours in the game, but fighting Lindworm is still terrifying. Aha! One Lindworm left. Let's have him. Fighting these things is so hard. We've got Lindworm Bones, Lindworm Acid, Acid. If one Acid Flask equals a straight Acid Flask that you throw, then that's wonderful. Because then that two Acid Flasks is the minimum for what we want to try um, when we fight the Kraken. Uh, yes, actually, in the, in the previous campaign, in the damaging campaign, it's middlingly effective because they all seem to have resilience, so you only get one turn of bleeding. So you don't really get to additively stack the bleeding. Which I guess they had to do because then that would have been too too strong, you know? It would be like in Darkest Dungeon when you, where you stack damage over time. It's very powerful. It's fleeing the piece of shit. These my crossbowmen are all fully kitted out. All four of them have the extra large quivers and heavy crossbows. What I would love is to get my hands on some uh, tier 3 uh, legendary crossbows. That was super rare. Awesome. So one flask. So we've got two acid flasks here. That should be enough for us to throw at the Lindworm. I think let's, let's just let's, let's maybe spend a few hours uh, just legendary hunting. See what we can get. I reckon the more legendaries we take into the Lurm fight, the better. Come on, guys. What the fuck? my shield breakers three acid flasks awesome two hordes some bones 
Lindworms lay in well-earned ruin. Your company goes about poking the corpses at a distance, making sure the bastards are truly dead. A few gargle and flip over, but that's about the last of their living issuances. You order the overgrown lizards scalped and skinned. Vander of Koenigsheim will be expecting proof after all. 